This is Tony Parlapiano, and today we're going to be discussing Wildflowers by Tom Petty, which was this week's subject for the Sunday Record It. Wildflowers is a song that I honestly can't remember not being a part of my life. It came out in 1994, and it was one of the first albums that I fell in love with the entire album. And it's not even that I've really followed Tom Petty's career that closely. It's just this one album really stood out to me, and it's kind of been there for me my whole life. So let's talk a little bit about what we're hearing here. So this is the RCI for Wildflowers by Tom Petty. And if we take a look over here, we can see that we're in the key of F. The landscape is one flat. The tempo is around 84 BPM. And the time signature is 4-4. As far as the chords that are in place, we're going to hear the 1, 4, and 5, our primary chords, and also our 6 chord. And then from the primary chord scale stacks, we'll get the 1 over 3 and the 1 over 6. We also have this variant this 5 over 2, and also we have this sharp 4 passing chord. So that's related to the 2 major, the flip tonality on the 2. So we'll talk about that when it comes up in the, uh, it's kind of like a bridge section. So right off the bat, you've got this acoustic guitar, and underneath that, you hear this hi-hat hitting on 2 and 4, which is supplying the heartbeat. Now one of the things I want you to hear in this chorus is this feeling First of all, we're starting on a four chord, and we talked a little bit about the similarities and the feel of this one and See the World by Brett Denon. Both songs start on a four, which gives me this feeling of, you know, I'm kind of on the road, this, this traveling, a traveling song. Now with this one, when you, when you first hear it, you've got this four chord. It's moving down to one, up to five, back down to one. This kind of swaying feeling, almost like the boats, at, the, the boats on the dock kind of just rocking back and forth. You belong among the wildflowers. You belong in a boat out at sea. When we get to this first verse, we're going to hear the piano enter in, and it's going to be sustaining these chords, just moving with the chord changes. We'll also hear this shaker underneath, creating a little bit of movement, also kind of a connection to that Brett Denon, See the World. The bass, when the bass enters in, when it gets down to the five chord, instead of kind of swaying back up, it's this four, one, five, one. So it's kind of expanding this feeling. The sway is kind of getting bigger. Run away, find you lover. Go away somewhere all bright. And it holds on the five. So when we get back to the chorus, we're going to hear the piano with the same role, but in a new location. It's kind of lower, but still kind of just stuck doing the same old thing. But right here, from Boat Out at Sea, you're going to hear the piano do this little little riff hinting at a C sus four chord, and it's got this feeling of like trying to break free. Notice also they traded the hi-hat for a tambourine, it sounds like. Here's the break free. Understanding is Tom Petty was going through a divorce when he wrote this song, and when we get to the bridge, it almost feels like it's the perspective of the other person. Some brass instruments come in, which gives it this really regal and majestic kind of feel, and we get our first chord from outside the key, and it's this sharp four passing chord on the the G over B. Now it was mentioned in the group; someone said this almost gave them this feeling of like a two five one in with that they would experience in jazz. Well, this D minor chord is our sixth chord, and that G is our two major chord. And when we put it over the B, that's over our middle key there. So that's our sharp four. That's where we get this sharp four passing chord. So that chord is a borrowed chord from the key of C. And so when we get to the C, it feels like this really new home. And if you think about that, the D minor seven to G, that is like two, five, one. It's kind of setting up this, like I've, I've got my new location. This is my, 
this is my newfound freedom, my new sense of self. Here's our new home. And again, if there was any doubt, repeat it. So when we get to the next verse, we have the same chord progression. It's 4, 1, 5, 1. However, the bass is taking a direct path from 4 down to 1. And we'll see the, uh, the see these slash chords included, this F over A and the C over G. So if we take a listen to that. Run away, go find a lover. Again, all over the same Run chord progression. Away, let your heart be your so the creative process with this, Tom Petty, that's Tom Petty. We have the same initials. It's pretty cool. I just realized that. <laughs> uh, he said, I just took a deep breath and it came out. It surprised even himself. I've heard other songwriters talk about from time to time, almost this feeling like it's coming from this other place and it just, it's coming through them and it just, it pours right out and they'll return to it thinking there's something that needs to be fixed. But sometimes the first take is the best take. And we get to this final chorus. What really jumps out at me is the piano part. And it's just demonstrating the role of freedom. Up until now, it's been kind of just playing chords, and now it feels like it's really dancing in the fields, just complete and total freedom. You belong among the wildflowers. You belong to a little fill here. So there's one thing I wanted to point out about the lyrics, which is in the chorus, which happens three times. You have two lines that are consistent in every chorus. The first line, you belong among the wildflowers. And the last line, you belong somewhere you feel free. What happens between those changes. It's just subtle, but it's a development in the storyline. So the hook, if there's even a hook, I'm sure Tom Petty wasn't thinking about writing a hook when he wrote this song. He was just pouring his heart out. But it's the consistency of those two lines. So as we get to the end here, the brass is back in, and we're back with that chord progression that defines our new home. And the song is going to end on the V chord, which is really not that typical. It's certainly not typical in a lot of other genres of music, which makes pop so interesting. It can kind of break all the rules. So that's it for today, and we'll see you tomorrow with a new Sunday Recorded.